For jewelry, uh, for from audience, I want to ask a, ask you a question. Uh, which thing you would use? Which balance you would use for uh, measuring or the weighing of jewelry? Uh, why? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of things which are included uh, with this. Uh, I think many of you already uh, know why calibration is important. And this is a cost estimation. Uh, if you uh, you don't have a calibration machine of weight or some other things, you will lose you will lose a lot of money uh, instead. Uh, now I would uh, like to uh, throw a light about uh, the radiation peak. What is the radiation peak? In radiation field, we are measuring the doses, and uh, uh, we are treating the patients. Why it is, uh, why uh, the dose measurement, the two dose measurement is essential, or the estimation of the dose is essential. Can anybody tell me about that? Why the estimation of dose is essential in radiation, in radiation therapy? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, so in, in the calibration of in this field, the radiation, because we cannot see uh, the radiation by our naked eye, there are some detectors which are used for uh, the measurement or estimation of that doses and the calibration in these uh, of these equipment is very very important so international measuring uh, system here is the international measuring system where there are some standard laboratories uh, BIPM uh, this is a primary board for calibration of all primary and uh, the other units and there is a there is a PSDLs, the primary standard dosimetric laboratories, and here the other one are the second secondary standard dosimetric laboratories is the international measuring system, and here is the SSDL, and I belong to SSDL, so uh, we are traceable to BIPM through International Atomic Energy Agency IAE, and the users are traceable to BIPM through our lab. So uh, in Pakistan, there is the only lab uh, which is working under the umbrella of IAEA and uh, users are traceable to BIPM through our lab. And these are some definitions. The SSDL uh, might be regional or um, national or regional, it, it depends. Uh, about the how much population of uh, the specific uh, country is. So there are number of uh, uh, SSDs can be generated in a single uh, country, uh, but unfortunately uh, in Pakistan, there is a only lab, only one lab and 25 million uh, population we have. And there are num number of uh, medical centers, nuclear medicine, radiotherapy centers are establishing and there is the only lab which, uh, which is working uh, under the umbrella of IAA and uh, participating or uh, providing you the calibration facilities. And uh, uh, SSDL uh, was situated in 1976 and uh, it is uh, uh, documented, it is uh, uh, established under the cooperation of International Atomic Energy Agency. And now at this moment, we have two uh, bunkers, uh, four irradiation bunkers we have. And what are the activities we are providing? We are uh, uh, doing some activities there. 
therapy level calibration we are uh, providing therapy level calibration and we are providing protection level uh, calibration radiation beam out output measurement of cancer hospitals uh, accelerators and uh, cobalt 60 machines reference check source measurements we are providing the calibration facility for reference check source measurements and uh, uh, irradiation services we are providing some irradiation services the tlds the biological samples etc and we are uh, trying to develop are trying to establish a diagnostic reference level calibration facility at this moment we don't have but we are trying to uh, provide the calibration of diagnostic uh, dosimeters uh, the dosimeters which are used in diagnostic radiology therapy in therapy, therapy level in, uh, calibration we have 40 uh, cancer hospital at this moment and uh, we are using technical code series crs398 we are following uh, this is the document uh, which is uh, uh, which is being used for absorb those uh, measurement in water so uh, it is equivalent to the tg51 and we are uh, obeying we are using the trs398 uh, for estimating the absorbed dose to the water and we are providing the output measurements to the different cancer hospitals through this technique and these are the reference standards we are using for estimating the output measurement and and uh, for calibrating the uh, therapy uh, level chambers uh, this this is the uh, irradiator we have in our laboratory t100 uh, cobalt 60 and uh, we also have an iaea uh, water phantom this has the dimension 30 by 30 by 30 and this is the experimental setup that we have in our lab the therapy uh, level calibration and many of the students can work uh, in uh, their lab for the research purpose therapy for ther therapy level calibration we can say that here is a cobalt 60 source and here is the detector and we are using technical report series 398 and uh, the distance between it in between the water might be the five gram per, per centimeter square or 10 gram per centimeter square it depends upon what sort of a quality you are using and how much distance you can use these are the these are the different uh electrometers are and the chamber the combination at this moment we are not calibrating the electrometers we are calibrating the electrometer plus chambers these are uh, multiple assembly we are uh, uh, providing the calibration of uh, small field equipments as well as the former chamber as well at this moment we have that facility in our laboratory uh, these are the equipments we are using for the kpt correction factor uh, correction factor uh, fraction which are also known as environmental uh, effects we are we are calibrating for pr protection level calibration we are providing calibration for survey meters, contamination monitors, neutron measuring instruments, pocket dosimeters, and alarm dosimeters. These are the different dosimeters. These are the survey meters, uh, contamination monitors. All these things we are calibrating in our laboratory. We have that facility in our uh, lab. The protection level calibration facility, we have a uh, cesium-137 sources. We have uh, three cesium-137 sources of uh, protection level at, in our facility. And there are a lot of uh, ion chambers, air karma, we are uh, measuring all the doses in terms of air karma. Many of you uh, already know about the what is air karma. Uh, if anyone don't know, uh, who can, who can uh, ask uh, Okay. Uh, this beta source hai. Ah, calibration, calibration of beta jo hai, this one is the calibration of beta source ke jitne bhi aapke paas beta dosimeters hain uski calibration ke liye humne yahan pe 
जो स्ट्रॉन्शियम 90 सोर्स रखते हैं उसके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हम जो है ना बीटा कैलिब्रेट कर सकते हैं इसी तरह जो है वो इरिडिएशन ऑफ थर्मोलिमिसल डोजीमीटर्स और ओएसएल डोजीमीटर्स उसकी इरिडिएशन उसके स्टैंडर्ड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्टैंडर्ड अगर इरिडिएशन चाहिए तो हमारी लैब जो है ये फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करती है इसी तरह हमारे पास जो है वो कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ पॉकेट डोजीमीटर्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डोजीमीटर्स वी हैव ऑल द फैसिलिटीज फॉर कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट uh we have upgraded our ssdl lab uh, recently and these are some glimpses of uh, ssdl upgradation there are two additional bunkers we have um, included in our ssdl facility and recently uh, it is being uh, inaugurated by uh, the director general international atomic energy agency uh these are the two bunkers we uh, included at this moment we have a diagnostic x-ray machine in our laboratory that is uh, from 40 to 150 kV and many of the students who want to work on this uh, specific uh, equipment and i uh, being in charge of this this lab i welcome you all who want to uh, participate uh, the hvl measurements are or the other kv measurements are these sort of stuff any work uh, related to this machine uh, who want to work on this uh, who can contact of me yes yes definitely uh, this is the this is the machine we are trying to uh, install in our lab this is uh, from 20 to uh, 320 kv uh, and uh, Uh, from this we would be able uh, to provide you the calibration for diagnostic dosimeters um, in future ct chambers smd chambers cap meters dap meters we can be able to provide you all the all the calibrations uh, this is the this is the this is the performance uh, that we have from 1985 to 2023 in our uh, lab and you can see all the results are within the acceptable limit and, uh, if you have any questions fine yeah. thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir yes 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 uh, at Hello, this moment we don't have the facility and ask a question, question? Uh, at this moment but can you uh, take question 24 we would definitely start this uh, electron dosimetry services calibration of electron 